Hey what's up friends this is Arun and welcome to my channel of Arun's creation in which we teach photoshop photography lightroom after effects cinema 4d graphic designing logo designing photo manipulation and many more other photo effects so let's quick start quickly with the this tutorial and this tutorial is very easy and awesome so firstly uh, i have some files i have downloaded uh, even you can download under the description of this video link is there okay after extracting this you will have this arrow tool.c4d double click on there then you have uh, a arrow in your cinema 4d okay uh, now go to this tool and uh, i want a circle right and i want to rotate it on x-axis uh, i'm changing this and uh, this value is changing okay i want minus 90 for this that's fine uh, select this arrow tool there you can see uh, now I want to put this circle on this pin so I will got this like okay that's fine and looking very nice okay mm. now you can see here I want uh, 50% that's fine okay now these are the values you will change and you will get the effect on there Now you can choose your desired effect on there. Now this is scale and is my favorite. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I want to bend it uh, to the outside. Okay, this is I want. Now you can see here, I want like this. Okay, that's very nice. Okay, hmm. now select these two layers. Okay, now Control C on the keyboard and Control V. Then you have like this. Again, select any one of this. Mm. Okay, I want to change the position of this. Now select this rotation tool. I want to rotate it like this. Here you will get the value. I want minus 180. Enter. Okay, we got this. Awesome effect okay uh, it's like this and uh, I want to put a sphere in it so hold your mouse on this then you will have the sphere now a sphere is available okay go to the scale tool and uh, adjust the scale value for your sphere okay now see this from the top you will get that like this that's looking very nice awesome very awesome Okay, mm. now set your desired position. What position you want? It's bend on you. Okay. Okay, this is the position I want. Uh, that's fine. Okay, now I want to put floor. Now put your floor and uh, even control Z. Even I want uh, background. Okay, now create a material for your background. Okay, I want I want to change the position of this floor. Okay, now select this and uh, choose your position tool. And now I want like this. 
okay now this is your material and uh, i want to make a material unmark this specular go to color in texture i want uh, gradient click on there right click on there invert notes uh instead of this pure like i had i want uh, light gradient instead of this go white i want this dark gradient now choose your 2d v v for vertical i want now drag this and uh, leave this on floor i want this now control press control on the keyboard and uh, drag it to background now select two like both and in projection this is flat i want frontal now i will check it okay that's fine we're getting the very right desired okay that's fine i want here okay that's fine that's cool now this time i want to put light on there select light okay mm, now go to move more graph and uh, click on cloner now i want multiple light source so that i have made cloner now hold this light and uh, drag it to here cloner then click on cloner and i want uh, radial light firstly okay multiple lights and this is a distance and uh, i want on x z axis now move the position to the upper side of this sphere okay now click on this light in general tab you have this shadow i want this shadow maps soft it should be soft now i will try to render it now you can see the result okay now i will work on this cloner means light Mm. I will spread the radius or you can see the spread the light now again make it render you will have the like this okay that's fine and uh, mm. now again okay I think 11 light source is working better for this image and I will try for uh, 14 fine mm, even you can change the intensity of this light source select your light intensity we have 100 percent and uh, about 88 i will check okay now we are getting a very nice shadow on on there mm. okay okay that's fine this is the value i want okay i will create a material for this sphere as well as this arrow now double click on there double click on there now color and uh, unmark this specular color i want uh, okay i will start from this red tone that's fine mm, okay now click on okay click on okay okay i will try to find out some more color okay if i if i work with the gradient so let's see what result we got okay okay i will try to use this gradient on this sphere now select this and put it on the sphere firstly okay this is something like this okay it's it's not properly working so it's like this mm, hit delete okay i will use this red material on this arrow okay double click on there uh, i will try to make new material okay in color i want uh, this color that's fine and uh, little bit of reflection i want uh, mm, the brightness brightness is 100 and i will try to work with the five texture i want fresnel Okay, strength I want for this Fresnel is six percent. Now click on OK. Mm, I'll leave it here. Now try to render it. Okay, that's fine. Mm, 
again uh, I will put this till to this another arrow as well okay that's fine okay I want to make a white material for this okay color white reflection okay this is the reflection okay texture I want Fresnel mm. okay that's fine now leave it on this sphere okay uh, I think we are getting very right result now I will work some more work on this light okay select this light uh, mm. okay, go to this cloner and I will change the position okay now okay we are getting very right result for this okay mm. I will find out what angle I want for this Okay. Control Z. Okay. okay, this is the desired result I want. Okay, now go to the setting and uh, I want ambient illumination and global illumination. Okay, width uh, I will try uh, 13 330 720 and uh, firstly I will try to render it that's very nice very nice okay very nice shade we are getting and uh, even if I move the flow to avoid this sphere okay I think uh, now it is better mm, okay now again go to cloner okay this is my light source and uh, increase little bit of intensity for this now again make it render this time it is I think looking nice uh, even we can put one more light source for this to make illuminate this arrow okay click this light source this is my light source okay and uh, okay I think now light is putting on this arrow and uh, now render it okay now it is working better but the intensity is more for this now select this light source and uh, reduce the intensity for this that's fine click on render and we got okay now uh, this is my final render click on there Okay, now it is going to render that's that's very cool very awesome now I will save this go to file then save as uh, keep in mind that depth I want 32 bits okay and uh, PNG I want now click on ok now save your file so now I will use Photoshop to make it more better okay now I'm in the Photoshop a uh, little bit I want to crop it okay that's fine now put your text or any other material you want to and one thing before that and make a new copy filter then uh, camera row. I will adjust this exposure okay that's fine Okay, that's cool. 
now you can see a very nice shadow around it it's looking very nice okay now see this before and after even you can apply a brush around it so that we can illuminate better way this sphere okay now you can adjust the opacity okay that's fine now click on okay now see this before and after okay mm, now this time i want to put text here 